Hello lovely viewers, Amanda Lee here and I'm back with another installment of In My Beauty Kit. This episode I'm going to answer some of the questions that I've gotten on our previous videos and I'm going to talk about some of my favorite beauty products. So let's get started. I'll have to say that the most common question I get is what kind of lipstick do you wear? And everyone knows uh, how important that lipstick is to the vintage rockabilly uh, pinup kind of overall look. And I definitely have some opinions on my favorite products. So I'm gonna talk about two different types of products, a long wearing lipstick that I like to wear and what I call a traditional lipstick. So my most commonly used product is a long wearing lipstick called LipSense. And LipSense is fantastic. It is, comes in about 50 colors. I, of course, pretty much only wear red. Um, and it's fa fabulous. Um, you apply it in the morning, uh, let it dry, top it with the gloss that comes with it, and it'll stay on pretty much all day. Um, my two favorite colors that I most commonly wear in my um, photographs and videos would be blue red, which is, um, I don't really consider it to be a true blue red. I call it a true bright um, red. It's neither too cool nor warm. It's just straight in the middle, true red. And then another red that I like to wear is called uh, Shilala, which is a little bit warmer, but it doesn't verge into like a tomato red category. Definitely is um, still fairly neutral and works really well um, on a lot of skin tones. So those are my two favorite reds that I wear. Um, Another one that I like that's more of a pinky red is cranberry. And I'll do a little um, side note here. The whole reason that I found out about Lip Sense is that a few years ago, I was reading an article in maybe like Glamour, and they were talking about Christina Aguilera. And when she was in her whole pinup vintage phase, um, she was a big fan of Lip Sense. So of course, I had to order, and the two colors that she most commonly wore were blue red and cranberry. So cranberry is a pink based red. Um, it is not as um, pigmented as the blue red or the Sheila La colors, so I find that I need to use a couple of extra coats to get a really even bright color. Um, but it is a nice option that I do recommend. I'm still sort of on the hunt for um, a nice pink color. Every once in a while, I stray from red and I wear pink, but I like a really bright, saturated, shocking pink color. And the closest so far that I found is a color called Kiss for a Cause. Um, so when I'm wearing uh, like a pink or a plum shade uh, in my clothing, I will break out this Kiss for a Cause color. So the way the system works is um, you start with a bare lip and you apply two to three coats of the color, um, let it dry, and then you top with their gloss. Now, I actually like um, their glossy gloss. They do have um, a matte gloss as well, but I like a, a shiny lip. And if you look at um, photographs uh, from the 40s and 50s, they're not the, typically you don't see a true flat matte color. There's a shine to the lip, and that has to do with the way that the products were made. So I do like the glossy color. Um, you do have to use either the LipSense Glossy Gloss or Gloss or um, another product line that makes a long wearing lipstick is called Lip Ink. I found that their lip shine also works um, over LipSense. So that's another option. And then they do have, um, it's called Oops Remover. Over the years I found that you don't actually have to use this but it does, you know, I'll apply this um, let it kind of sit for a minute, wipe off my mouth, and then um, apply the color and it does help it stay better. But actually, what I usually use to remove the color, because it is pretty darn budge proof, is I um, pick up these just little um, alcohol towelettes, takes it right off. So that's what I actually keep in my purse if I need to touch up in the middle of the day. Um, I will wipe off my mouth with alcohol towelettes and then start over. And of course I can hear you saying, oh my gosh, you're using alcohol wipes on your lips. How are they not like cracked and falling off? And the weird thing is, is about this type of product is that it actually is very conditioning for your lips. And I find that I have almost zero issues with um, dry or cracked or peeling lips whenever I use this. Whereas when I use a traditional lipstick, that actually seems to be more of an issue. So I can say that um, you know you will not find it uncomfortable to wear, and you actually may find that um, your lips are like in great condition when you're using this. Um, 
I'll add a little caveat and say that when you first start using this product line, it does sting a little bit the first few times you wear it, but don't be alarmed, that goes away, um, and now I don't even notice it. So that's sort of a summary of my um, most commonly used lipstick. I highly recommend Lip Sense, it's fabulous. Um, but if I'm looking to wear a traditional lipstick, I can highly recommend Bessemer Cosmetics. Bessemer Cosmetics is a great um, line of makeup that's all um, well-researched and based on vintage beauty products. And all of their lipstick colors are based on vintage formulas and actual vintage um, colors. I know that um, they do a ton of research and have a substantial collection of actual vintage cosmetics and recreate those. Um, so the colors that I most typically wear uh, from Besame Cosmetics would be um, uh, their newest color which is called Victory Red and Victory Red is a really great color. Um, it's a true bright red. It's based on uh, a color that was released during World War II that was meant to be worn um, with your military uniform. Uh, and they just released this a few months ago and it's very lovely. Um, I also like a semi-new color from them called American Beauty, which is another color. Um, it is more of a pink or a berry based red, but it looks very lovely on um, fair blondes or um, somebody with a cooler complexion. And then I also love their color called Red Hot Red, which is, I believe they say this one is a, uh, based on a 1959 color. It's um, a warm red. As you can see, I've had this one a long time. I've used it quite a lot. Um, it's a warmer red, but it still suits somebody um, you know, with a more neutral complexion like my own. So those are my three favorite colors from Besame. Um, for lip liner, I don't have it with me, but I usually use like MAC red or cherry red lip liner. Um, also, sometimes I will apply lip scents and rather than topping with the gloss, I'll put on a coat of the Besame lipstick and then I sort of get the best of, the, of both worlds because the lip scents locks it on um, to my lips and I don't have to worry about it smearing or feathering. Uh, so that would be my um, lipstick recommendations. Um, and then I did have a question from one of my viewers that was curious about um, the brush I was using in my hair tutorial. And it's not a vintage brush, it's, brush. it's actually a, um, a modern brush by Harry Josh. It's a mix of boar and nylon bristles, which is my favorite type of brush. Um, I love boar bristle brushes because um, they're, they smooth through the hair really nice and they give it a nice shine. But a straight boar bristle brush just isn't enough to cut through um, a set and brush it out, if that makes sense. So I like a paddle brush that has some nylon bristles to basically really get through the hair. Um, I believe I picked this up on Amazon, but you can um, also purchase it through dermstore.com. Um, and probably through some salons, but I do recommend this. The color is great. As you can see, it matches my bedroom wall and also um, I have the same color in my bathroom. So you gotta love coordinating your accessories with your house. But, so that would be what I'd like to talk to you about today. Um, I'll add that if you like our videos, please give them a thumbs up and follow us. And also be sure to check out our Patreon account as well. So I hope you enjoyed and please keep your questions coming. I'd love to answer them. Um, so thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.